this video and welcome back or welcome if you're new here hey my name's Emily and I'm in the process of renovating my dream house it's a total shell right now and today I'm going to show you around let you know my plans so you can follow along with the journey and actually know what's going on so let's do it so this is the entrance way it's Obviously, if you can't tell, a very typical Victorian terrace property. I've always wanted to live in a house like this and the fact that I'm getting to kind of build it up from the bottom to be my dream house is just unbelievable. So we're gonna do engineered wood throughout the floors, I'm thinking downstairs, maybe like an oak kind of color. And then obviously we've got upstairs here, but come along into, oh, the living room and I'll show you what's happening in here. So this is the kind of living space. This would have typically been the formal living area, I guess like back in the day. So what I'm gonna do is have them kind of split into two separate living spaces. So back here, I'm gonna do like a big comfy armchair in the corner, thinking a piano here. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm not sure yet. I feel like it'll probably be a bit of an empty space, but then through here will be kind of more of the formal living lounge area. I'm gonna do a big sofa here, and then we're gonna do, I'm thinking, King, just like a fireplace, like a reclaimed Victorian fireplace. And then when it kind of comes to kind of colours in here, I'm really, really torn. This is like the one room that I have no clue what colour I'm going to do it. We're toying between something really dark, like a green, or something a lot lighter. But one thing I do not want is the house to be full of white. I've spent my life living in new build houses. There are all shades of white. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking here at the moment. That's as like far as I've gotten. We're gonna carry the engineered wood floor throughout here and then kind of soften it up with rugs and a lot of kind of textures, furnishings. So yeah, the fireplace. At the back here, we're going to reopen up the chimney breast and put a reclaimed fireplace in there. I'm trying to keep it as kind of in keeping with the Victorian tradition as possible. So for example, in here, the skirting board will be higher than in the back of the house because traditionally that's how it would have been. So I know in a lot of these houses, they open up everything. Like this would be like one big open plan living space. And I don't want to do that. I want it to be really cozy. And although like modern still have the traditional feel throughout. So let me show you the most exciting room in the house, which is the kitchen. So I've had so many different plans and ideas for this house. Initially, I was gonna do a utility room in the kitchen, which is where you're stood right now, but I've changed my mind. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. So for this area here, it used to be like an under the stairs closet. There's actually a lot of space. I'm going to do my kind of laundry area here. So I'm probably going to have a stacked washer dryer unit and then some storage next to it for everything else. The toilet is in here. And then in here we have the kitchen. So this house, has has already been extended compared to kind of how it would have been made initially and made, built initially. Uh, I am actually also extending a little bit on the back. So this originally in my plans was going to be the living dining space. We were going to have a utility space here and then like dining space here and then the kitchen in the extension, but I changed my mind. <laughs> This happened like a week ago. I went for my kitchen design meeting and I was like, oh. So this is now going to be the kitchen. I am, fingers crossed, doing my kitchen with Duval. If you know property, you know kitchens, you know Duval. This has been my dream. They have a showroom in Loughborough, which is like super near me. So I've been there about six times. I'm that annoying customer that keeps coming back just to have a little look. But it's a really big decision, so I wanna be sure about it. So the current plan, which potentially may change, I'm going to replace, 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 the Veluxes. Originally I was going to do a big pane of glass all the way across but it just feels a bit unnecessary so I'm thinking I'm going to get new Veluxes. There is some kind of damp in here from like some leaks from outside so that will need to be fixed but there will be cupboards all the way along here. I'm currently toying with the idea of doing another oven here so I'll have my range and then big island in the middle. I'm doing my sink on the worktop. There's going to be nothing on the island. It is literally going to be a massive prep space and then on this side of the kitchen it will be floor to ceiling units, the fridge freezer, and then I have a space that I'm not sure what to do with. I have two choices. I can do another large pantry unit or I can do kind of like a juicing area, like another worktop essentially with the second sink. I'm not sure. I feel like I want this house to be the type of place that can grow with me. So I definitely want to be picking things for now and for the future, not just for me now as one person living in the house. So I don't know, like what would you do? Would you do the second sink and more 
workshop space or would you do more storage? I'm not too sure. It's, yeah, that's where I'm at right now trying to decide. But that is the kitchen. Thinking green, dark green. It's Bakehouse Green from Duval or Mushroom or the Blue, which I'm not entirely sure what it's called. But yeah, those are my kind of things. It's going to be a traditional shaker kitchen. I'm thinking a style stone worktop and it's just gonna be my dream. This is the one room in the house that I care about. I've said this in my other videos. The whole house, rest of the house could be unfinished, but if I can just do this room, I will be so happy. So then we move towards the back of the house. So right now the house kind of finishes and there's a little patio and I'm extending. I, I don't know how much I was gonna give you a number in feet, but it will be wrong. So I'm not gonna tell you, <laughs> but I'm ex extending out and we're gonna do initially like a living space family room with a sofa and then eventually I believe it will become become a dining room but right now where it's just me and like my boyfriend or me and my friends I don't really need a kitchen table when I've got such a large island but I really do want the space to have that in the future so I'm thinking in the extension bit gonna do like a cozy seating area TVs and things like that and then through here as well following the engineered wood flooring through I spill everything and I drop everything. So throughout this house, I'm going to try and do as much hard flooring as possible because I will ruin carpets in a month. It's a very bad habit. I spill all of my drinks, a cup of tea, half of it will be up the stairs if I'm taking it upstairs. So I'm trying to be sensible. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the downstairs. Like I said, things keep changing and I'm more than open to kind of suggestions if you've recently renovated. I have no idea what color to paint this room if I'm going to do the dark green. I was thinking about it the other day. I was making kind of like a mood board and I just don't understand how I'm supposed to choose. Obviously I have to. Oh, also in here we're doing brass hardware. So the I'm gonna do a hot tap, that's going to be brass. I've got a pot filler, which is going to be brass. And then the style stone worktop is going to be kind of white. Not marble, it's not gonna look like marble, but a white kind of effect stone. So style stone is essentially, I don't actually know what, what material it is, but it's mixed with resin, so it's super hard wearing, which I need because like I said, I'm very clumsy. So that's pretty much the downstairs. It's a very long house. Let me show you up on the first floor where we have a couple of bedrooms that aren't actually being used as bedrooms. Welcome to my beautiful bathroom, which actually doesn't even look like a bathroom right now. So when it came to buying the house, this was one of the things I really didn't like, uh, this kind of area of the house because the ceilings are so low. Like the rest of the house is so traditionally Victorian with a really high ceiling and I just was like, what can I do about this? So what we're gonna do in the bathroom here, we're going to raise the ceiling height by a couple bricks, two or three bricks, which should make some difference. And then the bathroom, we're gonna close this kind of up. This was the door here initially. We're going to put the door here. There'll be a big freestanding bath. The shower will go through kind of into there because the water cylinder is here. We have to close that in. So we're gonna do the shower, cubicle in there, and then I wanna do wallpaper, I think. There's also these tiles from Topps Tiles that are like, they're tiles, but they look like wooden floors. And I wanna do something different in each bathroom. So I was thinking I might do those in here and then a really fun wallpaper. So we'll have the freestanding bath, the shower, toilet, basin. I think the basin was going here. But I'm thinking also Burlington bathroom. So I'm gonna do chrome accessories in here. And then downstairs in the cloakroom and in the ensuite, I'm thinking, maybe gold or nickel but in here i think chrome will look great so yeah that's the bathroom and then we have bedroom two i guess technically on the plans uh, as you can see because there's no walls in here it's really crazy so this is where i was crashing when i like i slept here a few times when i first got the place and yeah this was the room i slept in i don't know why i just picked it it was really nice so in here we've got kind of newer windows i am replacing all of the windows with traditional sash windows getting them made locally in kettering from my hometown uh there's they're doing kind of a recreation of what would traditionally have been in here so i'm going to do two sashes and then behind you two more sashes and we're going to vault the ceiling and i'm going to do two velux windows in the ceiling as well so this should feel like a really light and bright room don't know what i'm going to do for flooring in here but what i am going to do is pink walls. I was on the Lick website the other day like, hmm, what should I do? And I think I want this room to be super pink, loads of different floral textures. I'm thinking like floral bedding, like really grandma style. This is gonna be the guest room. And yeah, I don't know why. I just always really wanted a bright pink bedroom. And I'm not like neon, but you know, girly. And I never had that. And so I wanna do that in this room. Like I said, this is all gonna be boxed in because we have the water cylinder. And then the shower will come out into here because it means we get a separate shower cubicle. I really wanted to have them separate. It's something that I associate with having like 
I don't know, a really fancy bathroom is when your shower and your bath is separate, so I really wanted that. But yeah, that's this room. There's not like a ton to it. This is one of those rooms that actually I found really easy to decide what to do because I know it's a guest bedroom. I can have a lot of fun with it and I think if I do the walls pink and then have the textures like the linen and things like that as something crazy, it'll be quite easy to change up. And then we come to what is the smallest bedroom in the house, but also my absolute favourite. I don't know what it is about this room. I just, I love it. It's literally my favourite bedroom in the house. So the ceilings are super high in here and we obviously have the chimney breast. Now I am going to open up the fireplace in this room. Oh, or, so this is my, my studio room, we're calling it. I'm definitely going to open it up in here. I want to open it up in here, but I'm not totally sure. I'm in R room, but I think I will. But then I now have to find four reclaimed fire situations. What are they even called? Fireplaces. Is that what they're called? I'm learning. Um, but I would like to have matching ones. So this is going to be my, I was going to say gym, but it's not a gym because you can't really jump up and down up here, can you? And not that I do that anyway, but I really would like this space to have like my Peloton. So I'm thinking ballet bar here for my bar core, big mirror here, and then somewhere there Peloton. And then I can do my little bar, bar classes in here. And Again, colors for this room, I was thinking like a sagey green because I want it to be super interchangeable because if I do have guests and I have too many guests to stay in that room, you know, we can then pop people in this room as well because I can just move my peloton out of the way and it will be fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking like a nice sagey green color. I want to do lots of different colors in this house, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. So that a lot of them are going to be like very muted colors. But yeah, I just love this room. I love it so much. Obviously it does have the chimney breast. So I'm trying to decide whether I do like a closet situation either side or I do shelves in here. I don't know, let me know what you think. I've seen both and I've seen some people actually do halfway up closets and then shelves. So we'll see. And then we come into what is technically the primary bedroom of the house. So this is going to be like my office. I, I work from home, so I thought this would be a really nice space to work from. I really want to do a herringbone floor in here. I'm thinking these two bedrooms I might do carpet because I'm not going to be in them that much. So I won't make a mess. But this room, I'll be spilling makeup all the time, coffee, you name it, it'll be on the floor. So I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to do engineered wood and herringbone. And then, like I said, we're going to open up the fireplace in here. I definitely think either side of here I'm going to do cabinets, like wardrobes, because I definitely need the storage. I'm just going to kind of shelve them and then have doors on them. You can kind of see how it was like that before. And if you watched any of my previous housey videos, you would have seen that. So that's definitely going to happen in here. And then colour-wise in here, I actually haven't chosen. I'm thinking I don't want white, but I definitely want something bright in here. So if you have any suggestions, very open for it. But right now I don't actually have any plans for what's going to go in this room besides like a desk and the wardrobe, but it's a very nice size room. And I think I'll spend a lot of time in here. Welcome to the final bedroom in the house, which is now going to be the primary bedroom. On the way up the stairs, which I can't really show you because it hasn't been kind of built yet. We are gonna build a little kind of dressing area, but it's not been done yet, but that's going to happen on the way up here. And I'll kind of show you that as it goes. So this bedroom used to have an ensuite literally here, which we've obviously ripped out and it just wasn't the best use of space. It made no sense. So we're going to put the ensuite here and then get rid of this tiny, tiny Velux window, put a couple of larger ones in for light. And then I really want to do an exposed brick wall in here and have some beautiful bricks, have the bed against it. I really want to do a cool storage solution under here. So if any of you have any recommendations, because it's a really deep space and I'd love to maybe do like drawers along here or something, maybe for like, oh no, not shoes. No outdoor shoes up here. <laughs> I was saying to my boyfriend, I was like, this room, no outdoor shoes, no outdoor clothes. I said to him, I was like, we'll get you a onesie. And if you want to come into the bedroom, you have to wear your onesie. He was like, absolutely not. So yeah, this room's literally just gonna be the bed and that's pretty much it. We're gonna do a little Juliet balcony. Again, the new windows, put some sash windows in up here at the back. And yeah, this is just gonna be one of those hideaway rooms that no one ever really comes to. I just come up here to sleep and I really wanna create like a real sanctuary up here. So I am considering doing a dark color. The reason I'm mumming and ahhing was because you'll come through here into the ensuite and it will extend a bit out to here. We're going to have a double shower, uh, obviously a sink and a toilet. And I think I'm going to do a dark tiles. So I'm thinking like, hey, subway tile in a dark green, a bit like the Londoner, but green. And then I'm doing gold hardware or, or nickel one or the other, not chrome. And then I really want to do this crazy flooring from top tiles, but a lot of you have said the space is too small and it won't look good, but I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. I'm like umming and ahhing, but I definitely want to do a dark 
ensuite because I'm doing a light bathroom downstairs. So then in here, is that too much to do a dark room? But then if all I'm gonna do up here is sleep? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I was thinking like green, but then that's a green kitchen, a green bedroom, and a green ensuite. So I'm not sure. That's, I need, I need someone to like tell me what colours work and what, what don't because I don't know, maybe a colour consultant is like a thing. Maybe, maybe I need just some advice. But yeah, that is pretty much the house right now and the plans of where we are at. Things are moving, it's very exciting. Obviously it's completely stripped out right now. It's really cool to see it back to brick and it's still not really sunk in that I actually get to live here one day. I'm telling you all these plans as if I'm doing it for someone else. Like it's really weird that I get to sleep in here one day. I don't know, it's crazy. I just feel like the luckiest person in the world and I'm so grateful that I get to share this journey with you. So if you'd like to follow along, you know what to do and I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>